Hello everybody, welcome back to the all-passion, no-skill playthrough of RimWorld, where we start out with Lee, who has the power of youth, and through his passions, has now managed to gain actually quite a lot of skills in pretty much everything except for artistic and intellectual, which are... I mean, the artistic would be nice, but I think I'm actually gonna have Human Friend, uh, his first companion, do most of the research, uh, from now on. And you know what? Actually, Lighter would not be a bad person. We still need to rename her, so that's gonna have to happen mid-video. Uh, but first off, we seem to be missing a gazelle, and I want to do a recap of everything that's happened since the last video. Okay, so as I said, in RimWorld, there are a lot of priorities. Uh, safety, efficiency, and shelter. We tried to make sure there weren't infestations, then we forbid some of the doors. I want to simplify my policies, and I went in and I, uh, made some more intelligent stockpile zones. I also tried to enlarge the ones as I could. Uh, I'm also trying to separate the rooms now out into more intelligible, uh, I don't know, fixtures. And I mourned the loss of the jaw of one of my cows. We also tried to fix up some of the work priorities, just continuing to tweak that. And I don't want them to clean too much, as many of you guys have suggested, go crazy doing that. So I lowered the size of the home zone. Uh, and then I made a storage area for, uh, chunks so that they won't go crazy. Uh, our gazelle left us. I, I don't know why, it had a great life with us. It was doing great. It was like a boxer or something. And Lee's skills got way better. Uh, he's a big constructor now. But I'm still worried about moods, so I'm probably going to be using a lot of smoke leaf and uh, other substances. Mainly smoke leaf. Though I might have to use other things in moderation, so. I made some drug policies for my RimWorld colonists to not go crazy. Uh, and I put a conservative 30%. So, you know, I don't want them to use it all the time, but when they're really going crazy. Uh, after that, we set up more stockpiles, and I'm kind of thinking of getting my whole colony laid out better. So I'm going to put in some bedrooms on the edges. The guides I've read have said to put them here. Oh, and then we got raided. It was horrible. Uh, but I tried to narrate it all, and, um... Well, they made pretty stupid moves, our attackers. They went in in divergent paths. And then, somehow, they just ended up attacking the wall. I brought everyone inside, one of them died, and the other two were just hitting a wall randomly, even though there was a gate right above them, so I'm gonna have to look at this. But it was good to get a small attack before a big one. They came in fanning around, as my grandmother would say, uh, and I kept my colonists inside and safe with the animals, so... Um... Anyway, they, they ran. We pursued one of them. Uh, and it was pretty much no contest because he was trying to break out. We did a good job with our walls, though, and, uh, Lee got some more shooting experience. I also managed to secure an auto pistol in excellent condition so he can get more rapid fire in, train up that shooting skill, and I gave Lee a separate drug policy so that he can't get as sick using the Penaxil- Pe I can't pronounce that, whatever it is. Arby's Freight I considered changing to Pegasus's Eye, and I did some trading for a few items. So, basically, for right now, um, I'm pretty well set up with this colony. Just if you look at everything visually, the base is pretty safe. We were more or less safe from the raids because we have two walls to go back on. We have our first outer wall, and then if they manage to get through my trap hallways and everything else out there, or if they come over here or here, or even here, which we're still working on, but hopefully we'll get soon, uh, then we should be safe, unless if it's drop pods or infestations, and I think I have prevented all risk of infestation in my main base at this point. Um, I don't know if I have over here because I've still got overhead mountain on the wall, but it's on the wall, so I don't think they could come in on the square if that's right. Anyway, uh, my, my main goals for today are to place bedrooms along the walls over here because I want to get ready to get a lot of colonists to join my colony because I've had one or two opportunities to take people prisoner but because we weren't set up right or for some reason or another we haven't. Um, my other goal is going to be to train the animals uh, since emergency meal left us and is now living in, in the wild. I really like how this is displayed in the wildlife tab because emergency meal is still named emergency meal. <laughs> so it's it's like a very aloof gazelle right now. <laughs> so at this point, uh, right, fine, dig the grave, that's okay. Uh, yeah, we, we are definitely gonna need more graves for everything that's about to go down here. Um, let me see. Train the animals, because we don't want the rhino to leave us, because the rhino is actually incredibly strong. Arby's Freight 2, I'm proud to say, 
Uh, may have had a shattered jaw, but still seems to be eating bushes, so I guess somehow he's, like, nibbling on the bushes with his upper row of teeth. His right eye has still been torn out. I considered naming him Pegasus from Yu-Gi-Oh, but I decided against it because, uh, I, I don't know. He's, he's Arby's freight in my heart. If the, if the next calf that is born gets its eye ripped out, we'll name it Pegasus, or one of the other inventive names that I have been suggested. Um, let me see, what else? Um... Uh, I think I'm just going to watch for them not going on traps. You guys give me a lot of fantastic tips I'm going to try to go through bit by bit, but hopefully they'll just start to seem to have diffused into me as I play. Um, and then the last the last major priority after we get the animals and we get the new bedrooms in and a few more defenses secured, uh, ideally we'd like to have some actual defenses on the outside, not just these little uh, you know, spike traps here and there. Um, I'd like to expand the stockpile zone, and then I'd like to get Lee up to 9 out of 10 skills in everything, because I really think that this character is the central motif of this playthrough. <laughs> we need Lee... <laughs> what am I even saying? We need Lee to get to at all max skills and everything, but I don't really want to go to mods, unless if it really goes far in that direction. Um, and I, I'm thinking I just want to do as much as I can with him with the vanilla game. It's not that I have anything against mods, because I get asked about this a lot. Uh, it's just that I want to learn the vanilla game inside and out before I go with mods. Because I did play with mods a while back, but I started to get confused as to what was in vanilla and what was in mods. So it's kind of for my own sake as I'm learning to play the game. Anyway, uh, what I think we're going to do now... Lee's just going to finish off this grave. Actually, that's not really even that important. I think I'm just going to cancel both of these. And then what would his next priority be? I really want to see how far along he is on the things I've prioritized. It's more construction, and I don't really need these things, so I think I'm just going to have him do... Oh, human friends doing hunting now. Actually, that's fine. He can do that, because we need another shooter in case if drop pods come in or something like that. I want to get Lee pe planting heal root and then starting to train the animals, so that's what I'll do next. Lee is just mowing through these trees at this point. He's got 4,500 experience. We're trying to get him up to, I believe it's level 7 or 8 that we need for heal root. If we want to plant it, okay, we're going to need 8. So, you know, unfortunately, human friend has not outpaced him, despite the fact that I've had him on plants forever. He's only at 7. Uh, either way, you know, it, Lee can use it still. All right, one other way that we've powered up Lee at this point is with the Panoxis... I think I'm saying this right at this point. Panoxicillin. So this is going to prevent anything random that Randy Random could throw at him. I'm going to do it only for Lee. And fortunately, it wear, wears off only once every five days. So we've got 15. So that gives us... Oh, I can't remember exactly off the top of my head. I think a season is 15 days in RimWorld or something like that. Um, so this is going to last him for just over a year's time then, which is really fantastic. Um, and he's also more successfully milking Bessie now. I, I'm noticing that he's not wasting so much milk that he gets from her from the bucket. Uh, wow, rhinoceros? I didn't realize that they're herbivores. Are they herbivores? Whatever they are. Please, please, please make her obedient. Please help this animal. Okay, he's at four. He's going to need, I think it's either six or eight to start training the rhinoceros. But we need this rhinoceros trained ASAP because we don't want to lose it. Because I don't want it to go back into the wild. Because I think that there is a chance, once it's in the wild, for it to attack you. And I don't want him to get attacked by a rhinoceros. And I want a rhinoceros to defend me instead. All right, Lee is now just finishing up work on the billiards table. Number one, this is going to be great for our dining room because it won't look ugly anymore. I don't know why I had this thing here for so long. I just never got around to harvesting enough cloth for it. But now at this point, based on what you guys have told me, they, ooh, it's an excellent quality billiards table. That's going to make this even better. I don't know if that adds to the beauty. Probably, it's in some way, I'm thinking that it must help. Uh, actually, can we get any information on that? Recreation- okay, so it has more recreation power, I guess, since he's made a really high quality one. It's also incredibly expensive, so we'll probably getting- we'll probably be getting much stronger raids soon. And another thing that I should mention before too long is that I'm gonna need to put a double wall up here right now, uh, because we could get grenade launchers and rockets, which will tear us to bits. Uh, even though that we're good shooters, I don't think that Human Friend and Lee are gonna be good enough to take what's about to come, so we have to start researching. 
uh, workflow, and although it, everything looks really good, we could get hit with some screwed up shit from Randy Random at this point. Like, it's... He, drop pods, somehow I'm gonna get an infestation. I know it's gonna happen somehow that I just don't even foresee at all. Um, and I'm thinking that we could probably use human's friend, human, ugh, human friend's extra time to get him to research. So I also assigned a research bill. And where is it? I want to do batteries first because this is really the first major step toward getting, uh, let me just turn that off, toward getting kitchens, uh, I'm sorry, kitchen and really the whole food workflow. Because right now we've got a pretty good one, but we're eating everything, you know, day by day. Living hand to mouth, as my grandmother would have said, who lived through the depression. But at this point, uh, let's just keep focusing Lee on the animals, because I really think that this rhino is going to be OP if we can get it to join us. Like, for good. Okay, so it turns out that human friend is going to reach level eight in plants first, so we can completely take off Lee off of planting at this point, I think. The only real reason why I had him doing it was, well, early game, early game importance before we had any of their colonists, but also just to get that heal root in the ground. So let's take him off of that entirely, and then we're just going to try to start taming a bunch of random animals out in nature. I know this is going to up the value of our colony, but we could also just slaughter them. I don't know. I, I, well, until I get the rhino, I'm not going to be happy about this. Oh, and I think I forgot to mention this before, but based on what you guys have told me, um, the billiard stable is going to also increase shooting skill, which seems awesome if they could... If they could do that, as they, yeah, dexterity play. So I guess there's different types that helps train that. So that is awesome. They can totally do that. Uh, and then what is the, I'm wondering if I should just remove the horseshoes pin entirely. That's also dexterity play. But it's, I don't think that this thing is in very good condition. Uh, no, wait. I don't believe it has any quality. Decent 42. That's the barn. Decent. Okay, that's the dining room. All right, whatever. Okay, we've had two random alpaca who are completely friendly and non-violent wander into our base, so I'm choosing these as the first animals that Lee tries to tame. Uh, if nothing else, it's just gonna give him some random animal skill. I don't think that they gain any animal skill as they hunt. I've never actually checked it, but I've, I've watched only the shooting skill go up, so I assume that that's the only one. Um, but let's just see how much his animal skill goes up by as he pets the alpaca. 2128... And 2263, so 2128, so it's about 100 and 130-ish, 135 as he does it. So this is going to be completely worth it just to farm animal XP as far as I can tell. Okay, one other thing that I'm doing is to just create one general stockpile zone in the middle of our base area. Not too far off from everything else and with doors on all sides. Because ultimately what I'm thinking is this. Uh, we need access to most of our goods in this area and we're going to have workshops and other storage over here. Uh, bedrooms will eventually all be over here. We'll have a rec area in this area. This trap hallway is going to eventually become the main hallway of the bedrooms in the colony. Uh, we'll have research and, you know, chunks, things that we might not necessarily need for a while over here. I might end up wanting to move some of these workshops over here onto the outsides. Uh, but generally speaking, we want most of our goods to be here in the middle so that they can access them there. Uh, and then we'll have, you know, hospital and other areas. But I'm thinking that it all kind of starts with the kitchen where we have low food. Are you kidding me? No, oh, there's meals in the... Well, figure it out at some point. Um... But mainly, I think that it needs to all revolve around the farms, because the farms are here, so then we'll need a kitchen and a butcher area here, so that'll probably be here. And then we'll have a fridge here where we can use the space underneath this mountain if we eventually get it cold enough to be freezing. And then we could have dining rooms here, and that workflow is actually really, really well laid out. And then I think that the rest of the colony can be like warehouse here other production stuff in this area, and then it's starting to come together. Just, you know, to ultimately minimize the amount of movement time that they're going to be doing. And then we'll start to think about defenses on the very outer walls of this place. So, I don't know, all of my failures up until this point have kind of led me to this model in my head. So I'm trying to do my best with that, but if you see any major flaws in that or I'm being an idiot right now, let me know in the comments again, because I've learned so much from you guys. 
All right. Uh, it turns out that it was a very, very good thing to have Lee take that uh, panoxicillin because now Brokeback Mountain, human friend, just <laughs> just got sick with the plague. Panoxicillin, ah, oh, so it was blocked on Lee because of that. That turns out to have been a really good move. Okay, so panoxicillin turns out to be a great thing. Thank you so much for recommending that. Uh, ensure that we have proper medical treatment or bed and a doctor. And let's just see. All right, uh, I don't like the plague. And this was right before he was about to get all that heal root going too. What was he at? He was at 7,942. I'm actually gonna have him just finish this off really, really fast. Because I want him to get to level 8. Come on, finish that off, dude. Okay, he's at level 8 now with plants. I need you to prioritize sowing this area so that we have some medicine at some point. And then let's... Um, actually, no. <laughs> it's a long... For some reason in my head, I was thinking for a second that if I sowed the heal root, I would just have it immediately. I did buy some heal root, and there seems to be a lot over here. So let's just immediately harvest that. Lee is going to have to get out of bed. I probably waited way too long on this, to be fair. Um, ironically, well, Lee probably won't fail at this. But it's too bad that we can't get Human Friend to do it, because he would have been so much better with plants, so that stinks. Um, I don't have a lot of experience with plagues. Needs tending right now, but Plague Miner and his immunity is not going up at the same rate, so we want to get him into a bed ASAP, so let's just... Get him back into bed, because we want that immunity to be rising. Otherwise, he will die of the plague. Um, yeah. Oh, wait a minute. We do have that, though. <laughs> we totally do have some medicine. I forgot that we did buy some. Uh, okay. Um, I'm going to just clear your prioritized work. And then as soon as you get in bed, I'm trying to think. There's not a faster way to just, you know, do some triage right there. Uh, and I don't want to switch up his and Lighter's bedrooms, because his is closer to being impressive. It's fine. So let's just have Lighter go tend to him as soon as he gets in bed. Let's just draft her quick so she can move out. And... Lee, you're gonna do this. I did not expect this plague, but fortunately is not hit Lee. I would not honestly be heartbroken if Human Friend died, because, uh... He's got a lot of bad traits about him, but I'd, I'd rather not lose a colonist at this point. Good. Tend to him. And then does she also have a, a, a lighter doctor? Okay, so we have her doing that pretty much first thing. And Lee could also doctor in time, but I don't want to prioritize it too much. Anyway, okay, he's going to get back up to health. And the immunity is not as fast, but he's not been in bed and he's not been treated for a while. So he should have immunity going up at a steady rate. All right, I think that we're safe with that, but I'll keep you posted as we go. All right, we had pemmican rain down from the sky in cargo pods, so that's pretty great because it saves Lee from having to do a lot of cooking today. Uh, and pemmican is just a great storage or food storage mechanism. I don't think I'm going to end up researching pemmican at this point. I would if I had had like a tribal start or if I hadn't had, you know, access to much technology. But seeing as we can get refrigerators in fairly short order, I think I'm just going to say thank you, God, for sending down some pemmican and get on with my life. All right, and it looks like Human Friend is turning into Anakin Skywalker uh, because he has been rebuffed by Light. Well, actually, Anakin Skywalker was never rebuffed by Padme, but it was, it was largely the other way around. So maybe he will still be okay <laughs> for this life. But please, please, please. Okay, great, great. Yeah, no, smoke a joint. Just <laughs> feel, feel better. That's why I have those in there. Uh, but we're also going to need to make more. Have I ordered them to... I have ordered them to make more. It's just that nobody's gone to... <laughs> Look at me just sitting in a room alone. Smoking a joint after he got rebuffed by lighter. Oh, man. Smoke leaf comes at the greatest times. How much does it actually... Okay. So he got, he got high on smoke leaf. And he is 13... 13 extra points or mood points from that. But he's still greedy for an impressive bedroom. I think it's about time that we gave him this impressive bedroom just as soon as we finish this. I don't know. Maybe the animals can wait a little bit longer because the... Where are the alpaca? The, the alpaca are literally trapped in here until, <laughs> until they are trained by us. So maybe we can wait a little bit longer on that. 
you may notice I'm building everything out of wood on the inside of the base right now. That's really just kind of slipshod of me. I shouldn't be doing it. I, I would be better off, you know, going over to sandstone because you can work with sandstone pretty quickly. It's just that I am... I don't know. Maybe I should do that because it wouldn't burn because I can get some firestorms and we've got only two. The more I think about it, the more I'm like, this is a terrible decision. But I just want to get something up really fast and easy right now. Okay, I just want to establish that I have an extreme feeling of malaise. Usually when everything is going this well, something terrible happens like scythers rain down from the sky. Scythers and centipedes. And we don't have- and that's- it's- it's literally that one problem. Because I think we're pretty, you know, immune to disease at this point. We've got some- we've got a good doctor and we've got some medicine. Ideally we'd like to have better medicine, but, you know, we're far off from that so I'm not gonna worry about it. Um, mainly centipedes and scythers. Uh, and sappers and people with rocket launchers just generally killing me. So I'm going to keep on prioritizing security uh, because the, the rhino and the traps are going to save me more than anything else rather than putting any of my colonists' lives in danger. So whatever you think, <laughs> I, I just have a gut feeling that those two things are going to keep me alive if I do manage to save them. All right, well, it looks like human friend's plague has lessened, uh, or he's developing immunity to it. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Major break risk. Human friend. It's mainly because of his pain, and he's also hungry, so we haven't had anybody harvesting the crops, so that's the reason for that. Uh, but I'm just having Lee go out and get some corn, because we need to keep him from snapping momentarily. Can he smoke a joint from in bed? Um, yeah, you know what? Get another smoke leaf joint. I know this is not a great idea, because then they can become addicted to drugs if I start to do this. But I really don't want him to snap. What is wrong with- I feel like he had some terrible trait. He's greedy, and he's got a chemical interest. Well, he would probably just do this anyway, but I don't want him to have the penoxicillin, because Lee needs that for himself, so... I mean, he's got a chemical interest anyway, so it'll probably please him somehow. Um, but anyway, more food. <laughs> get, get that stability, and then work on everything else because uh, you know so often I focus on like higher level things and without having my food in order and that's that's my own personal goal for RimWorld to not you know get too ahead of myself yep okay so Lee's shooting goes up at an alarmingly slow but still appreciable rate when he plays pool so you know I mean if you have a lot of colonists, it'll make them all a little bit better at shooting. So I think that's probably a, a really awesome addition to the uh, to the place. I think chess helps intellectual, if I'm not mistaken. So I suppose that if you have a bunch of researchers or people that you want to get better at researching, because if you have one guy who's very passionate about researching, I remember in a previous colony I had somebody who had like no arms, so but he was so freaking smart. So all that he would do was just sit at a desk all day and research and he came up with the craziest ideas and had all... It, it took him like a day to research a new technology. It was insane. Um, but yes, that, that would really be my ideal colony. Just everybody has one specialized task that they do. And nobody dies. Okay, one other thing that I'm going to try is that the previous danger zone for the animals to harv- to, uh, I don't know, roam around in Eden was over here, but this area seems to have grown kind of depleted, and ultimately I might have to rotate the animals around a few fields, because they tend to just eat everything in there. Um, one thing that I've done since Human Friend is such a good grower now, is to just set him out an area to- we've got a minor break risk, let me just pause for a second. Uh, I'm- I've set him to plant hay grass in the southern part of the base. So, actually, let's just expand this a bit, because, you know, he's very, very good at planting, and they're very, very good at eating. So, we'll have him do that, and then we're gonna move the danger zone now to... Really, the whole thing is just an excuse for me to say danger zone. I, I love to say danger <laughs> That was probably my favorite thing that I did in this playthrough. Uh, let's change the danger... Uh, you know what? We'll clear the danger zone from here. Great, okay, we'll clear- Ah, we'll also need to change their sleeping spots. That's fine, let's do it here instead, though. We don't want to do it too many rocks, but we also don't want to get them on our crops. 
So I'll do like there, and then I'll have to be careful not to plant anything further to the other side. Okay, so let's just see them go there. Great, and they do seem to be moving in that general direction. Now. All right, everything else is the same. Okay, and another build that I've outfitted is for them to just start cutting stone blocks whenever they have enough materials. We have a major break risk. Uh, light, why are you going crazy? What reason do you have? Hungry, drowsy, unsightly environment, slept in the cold, awful bed. Okay, so she, we have just not, generally speaking, been doing enough for her because she's still sleeping in here because we've been so worried about human friend because he's crazy. So we will have to spend some time thinking about her in a moment. I think we'll get her up to a dull bedroom rather than awful right now and then that. Well, we are- we just did get back on her with our meal preparation, so we should be fine there. Um, but I want to have 110 stone blocks on hand at any given moment, just because looking at these outer walls, I, I'm not scared of this if I'm a raider. <laughs> I mean, I think they'll be fine, I just don't want them to tear apart too much stuff. And it turns out that grinding animals, uh, that sounds morbid and violent, but grinding experience on raising animals is a very, very slow process that I kind of underestimated, so... Uh, how, where is Lee right now? He is at a 5 out of 8 with the animal taming. He needs to be at 8 for the rhino, I double-checked. Uh, so, yeah. Hopefully the rhino does not leave us. Alright, and Bessie just gave birth to another male calf. I'm pretty depressed that we have not had a single, like, female calf because they would be much more useful and would help Lee get more milk and more animal experience by day. But you know what? It's another animal for him to train, so we can train it in obedience here. And it's also not had as horrible a life as Arby's Freight, but it makes me realize how much Arby's Freight has grown. Um, and I think we're going to name this one. <laughs> Alright, this one's from Brian. He said to name it Backup Dinner. So thank you, Brian, for the name request. I like that a lot. So we have Backup Dinner, Arby's Freight... Bessie, Red, and soon to be Hat. And if I get another one, I want to name it We Have the Meats. Alright, uh, at this point, I, I don't really know. We've got this mysterious fog rolling in. Lee's finally back on, tr on, like, on target with the meals, and the corn is helping a lot. Though Human Friend is getting, it's getting to be too much work for him. And Lighter's got just too many other random things to do. She's also kind of stressed, so let's work on Lee with her bedroom for a bit. So that he, like when he's finished with the cows, he can help her bedroom so that she's not so miserable all the time. And I am pleased to inform you that Human Friend has now developed an immunity to the plague. And he is also just, you know, he's, he smokes a lot of smoke leaf, that guy. So, at this point, he's, you know, like he's doing okay, he's having... Med He's having medicinal smoke leaf at this point uh, to keep him sane. Lee is still busy constructing. Lighter is not going crazy. And if she needs, she can also use that. So smoke leaf, I had kind of, I had not really realized it, but it's kind of a game breaker. Like they never have breaks, though I guess until they start getting addicted to it. Um, of course, there are others. Ah, oh, I hadn't thought of giving them a lot of different drugs to use in RimWorld. That's kind of crazy. All right, well, Anyway, um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. We haven't had any attacks, so I'm pretty pleased with this. Uh, I still want to get those bedrooms done, but it just seems like there's so many other important things. We haven't even had time to research. Look at the little bit of research that's gotten done. It's just that the crops are so much work at this point. Okay, lighter, are you happy? We, I didn't get you a dresser, but I wanted you to be comfortable soon. Let's just have you sew these two before you go to bed. Just to see if it changes it. I don't think it's going to, but it, okay, it is dull at this point. So, uh, whatever. Finish sewing that area. And now she will or will not get... The, okay, so she's going to consume a meal and then go to back to bed. Alright, human per friend has pursued Lighter by boasting about his own way of walking... <laughs> <laughs> because he has a peg leg. Lighter became aroused and agreed to become human friend's lover. This could be good or really bad. Uh, but now they want to sleep together. Consider assigning them a double bed. I think that they get angry if they don't get it. But they can also break up with each other, which is never really so great. 
Uh, oh wow, and it looks like we're gonna see if we can have Red follow around. Um, okay, we're gonna have Red Bull follow around Lee so that he never gets, you know, ambushed. Because I want Lee to have a bodyguard. Okay, so Red is now Lee's personal bodyguard. I wonder if this is gonna prevent him from, you know, screwing Bessie the cow. Because Bessie the cow, we need to, we need more cows, ideally. So, actually, you know what? On, on second thought, you stay there with Bessie. Um, I, I need more cows. I, I particularly need more milk, uh, from my cows in good time. Though we are getting too much food, which is a sign that it's almost time to get a refrigerator. Uh, and I don't really know what to say. I think I, that's, that's probably enough for now. Uh, I'd like to keep these videos from getting too long. Usually I would wait till I got ambushed or in some other way killed. Um, but thanks to you guys, I haven't had anybody go crazy. Because I've learned how to actually use the different items in RimWorld and I'm not totally screwed. Our security is pretty well established. Our characters are well developed. Lee is now incredibly overpowered at this time. I mean, granted that he started very underpowered, but I still think that Lighter and Human Friend are doing pretty good jobs themselves. And I mean, if we had a decent colonist to start off with, otherwise we would have done better with him. Anyway, I, uh, occasionally I read some people saying like, it's an easy playthrough. I'm not really doing it because it's an incredibly difficult playthrough. It's just one that interests me a lot. I, I think it's fun to kind of role play one character who does very, very well. Uh, or who progresses very well, because that's kind of the RPG element to me, and I like RPGs. So anyway, um, I, if I made any idiotic mistakes in this video, please let me know down in the comments. I do read every single one, um, even if, because it's the holidays right now and I'm spending some more time with family and whatnot, um, I don't have time to respond to every single one, but I do read them all and take notes on all of them as I go. And I've, now that I mention it, I'm staring at a page of about 500,000 RimWorld tips, so maybe I can find some way to release these to the community, uh, at some point. Because I was very, very bad at this game before this. But anyway, thanks for watching, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video. For the power of youth. Look, he's taming the gazelles again.